What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can turn your Redmi Note 7 Pro into a complete Mi A3. Now, again, this ROM isn't meant for the daily driver usage, but if you are someone who is trying to upgrade to a Mi A3 or just going to downgrade or just going to give someone a Mi A3 and hasn't actually experienced the Android one side of the Xiaomi, this is the perfect ROM to check out. Well, I will provide the installations later on in this video, but I seriously don't recommending this as using for daily driver usage cause it has few of the bugs. For example, voltage isn't stable for some systems like Airtel or Idea. Then again, there are some speaker issues with the vendor, which could be fixed later on in the future. But as you can see over there, the brightness is a bit messed up. Like the brightness slider does actually work, but to a very little extent, as you can see, I can literally control everything like 500 times in one scroll. So again, that's one of the issues, but it's a complete MI3 Android One experience. So those who are wondering, or those who just been asking me, is it good to just go with the MI3 with the Android One experience or not? Well, I will really recommend just stick on and wait for the Redmi Note because it's basically the same phone. You will get MI UI, same triple camera probably, and Snapdragon 655 on both of them. Because Android One doesn't actually offer a lot to be honest. And then again, even if you want to switch to just talk Android, there is always a very easy way with the Xiaomi phones. You have to just get your bootloader unlocked. That's the one hardest part. But once you do that, it just works basically like a charm. Like literally right over here, I'm running MI3 ROM on my Redmi Note 7 Pro. It's that that simple. So again, if you're just asking, is it better to go with the MIA3 for Android One experience? Really not. MIUI is a lot better. MIUI has much more productivity features. And then again, the MI services that come with it, like Find My Device and stuff are much more handy. So just taking a look at your home screen again, as you can see, completely looks like Android One. You have the MI camera and stuff. You have the MI3 wallpaper. I mean, there is only one wallpaper with this thing, like this stock one, which is a bit weird. But then again, going through the left, you have Google now, pretty much all the stuff right over here. Wow, there's a sale on MI2. That's pretty good. But then again, going through the notification stuff, it's a completely AOSP based ROM. There is hardly any Xiaomi traces right over here. So again, going through the toggles, you have a grayscale and stuff, everything from the digital well being. Then again, over here, you have airplane mode storage cause it has the Google Files app completely being an Android One device. And then again, performance is on par over here. As you can see, apps open fairly in Xiaomi speed. Then again, messages app, it's pretty good. Snapdragon 675 is a champ. Then again, going through the camera, I mean, for right now, as you can see, the main camera sensor does actually work pretty great. You have the 48 MP mode and stuff right over here working. You have video with 60 FPS option, but still this isn't the ideal option if you're looking forward to use this ROM as portrait mode or any kind of advanced mode would actually crash this camera app like even portrait mode. Now I can't literally use the camera for the next reboot. Then again, going through the apps, you pretty much have all the Android One bloatware right over here, like the Google Pay, Digital Wellbeing, Files app, FM Radio, then I don't know what this is, like MMI Group. I have removed a bunch of the MI apps. I mean, I have some kept like the File Manager and the Files app, which is quite handy. But then again, performance stuff is pretty great. Again, if you want this ROM in any kind of another phone, please follow me on Instagram and send me a DM. Again, if you just don't follow me, you will just end up in my spam folder because they are pretty much all the time full. So again, reply to one of my stories or something and I will get notified, but let's just get through the ROM again. Just pretty much nothing. It's a stock Android ROM. Again, you have pretty much bunch of suggestions right over here, which is pretty great. So going through the battery and stuff, pretty much nothing. You don't get any kind of MIUI battery saving options right over here. The optimization is very limited, but the battery life that I'm getting over here is pretty nice. Then again, going down through the display, you have pretty much everything. You do have device theme, so you can actually switch it to the dark, but it's basically nothing, as you can see. It really depends on your vendor. But going back, you have screen saver, ambient display, which does actually work. Then again, wallpaper, adaptive brightness, pretty handy stuff. Then again, going down pretty much nothing at all. You do have fingerprint scanner working right over here. There you go, completely works pretty fast, actually. And you do have the in-display one on the Mi A3, which is quite amazing to see that Redmi Note 8 Pro would be also getting it, but having it on a 13,000 rupee phone is just amazing on Xiaomi's part. Then again, you have face unlock, pretty dusty right over there. Then again, scrolling down, you have a bunch of services like digital well-being, but you do have MI services right over here, which are just user experience and some diagnostic data, which everyone has, nothing special at all. But you do have system in gestures, you don't have anything like switching to the normal navbar. it's just basically that. Going through the advanced, pretty much nothing. You are basically running the latest version of the Android One from MI A3. And then feedback, which also does actually work. So that's great. And then again, let's just get to the installation of this thing. Again, it's pretty easy. You have to just get an unlock bootloader and install a custom recovery. If you just basically know that cause there are already thousand videos on it, just go to the recovery by shutting down your phone. Then hold down your volume up and power at the same time. Once you're at the recovery, you have to just go to wipe, advanced wipe. 
Dalvi, Cache, System, Vendor, and Data. No need of internal storage if isn't already mounted. But if your internal storage doesn't actually show up in the twerp, you have to actually just go to the wipe and format data right over here by typing in yes. Once that is done, just go to install, swipe down till you find the patched vendor and boot. This will actually boot any kind of JSON that you want. Add more zips, system FC fix. This will actually fix the fingerprint scanner and a bunch of the errors with the system. So for example, if you get any kind of message earlier that your Android system has corrupted or something, this will actually fix that. Add more zips, patched f step and VB meta or the thermals. This will actually enable the phone to boot any kind of GSI kernel or even unlock the thermals. So you can get a bit more boost while gaming. And then again, add more zips. Fcrypt disabler. This will actually disable the more advanced encryption option which come with the Snapdragon 675. Add more zips. Kernel permissiver patcher. This is to boot the Irfan's JSR that we are actually installing. Confirm to flash. Once all of the zips have been installed, you have to just go to home, reboot, recovery. You have to not reboot yet cause we don't actually have the mi 3 gsi installed yet, but you have to actually install Magix, which could be activated only once you reboot the recovery. So go to install, Magix 19.3, confirm to flash. Go to home, go to install again, install image. MI3 ROM by Irfan, system image, confirm to flash. Reboot system, swipe to reboot, just ignore this message. And the phone will actually flash like three to four times now. Just don't panic. And now the phone is finally booting. Now if you're wondering why the boot animation is a bit funky, that's cause the MI3 is 720p display and our Note 7 Pro is 1080p. But it will basically boot in like 2 to 3 minutes. And we are back again. It's been roughly a minute and the phone is already up. So let's just unlock it and as you can see there is no navigational options. Cause it doesn't have a navigation bar enabled. So again you have to just go to file manager and it will actually take a bunch of the time cause the play services are just being crashed in the background. So just again be patient. APK files. Google Play Services, let's just install that. Once the Play Services have been updated, you have to actually reboot the phone. This will actually allow us to go to the app drawer and fix all the lags in the system and also activate the Google Play Store. Once the phone is back up, you have to just go to the app drawer, Magix, go to modules and add a module called ANX camera. Now this will actually give you a much more stabler MIUI camera on any kind of third party ROM like Lineage US Pixel Experience and this model actually works on bunch of the phones like Pocophone F1, Redmi 4A and bunch of the Xiaomi phones that I don't even know but it will basically list all the phones that it's actually supporting cause right now it's detecting that our phone is MIA3 but it will actually fix bunch of the stuff for the Redmi Note 7 Pro 2 so I mean, as you can see this is the list that it supports so over here you have Redmi 6A, Redmi Note 5 Pro, Cifras like bunch of the Xiaomi phones I don't even know the code names completely but you don't have to actually reboot you have to actually enable the navbar so again go to Downloads, search, navbar. So again, this will automatically detect that our phone doesn't actually have a navbar and enable it for us. And again, as you can see, origin status hidden. So again, that's successful. So reboot once. As you can see, you have the ANX camera right over here and the navbar. So again, just tap on it to open, allow the permissions. There you go, you have the ultra wide angle stuff from the AMI A3, but if you do actually go to the wide angle, it will actually crash. So I just don't recommend touching that at all. Again, the preference over here is to use just Gcam on any kind of custom ROM for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. But again, as you can see, it retains everything from the AMI A3. Like right now it stretches, but you do have the AI mode 2.0. So just tap on the front camera and actually enables the AI camera. For example, like this, there you go. It usually takes like two to three taps, but really works so again you have the video mode right over working then again portrait mode is now completely fixed you also get the aperture mode right over here again you have the complete navbar and yeah guys that's pretty much it on how you can turn your redmi note 7 pro into a complete android one xiaomi mi a3 i hope you guys enjoyed if you want more videos like this please let me in the comment section below again be sure to follow me on instagram and subscribe down there because i would be making a lot of content like this and see you guys in the next one
Peace. Again, share this video with your tech groups and friends. It would be a lot of help.